It has this really cool and structured texture to the fabric. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the alternating spike stitch. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size four. For this stitch, you wanna start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of two plus one. So in my case, I have 13. For row one, you're going to skip two chains, which counts as a single crochet. And then you're gonna do one single crochet into each of the chains of the row. So we essentially just do one single crochet all the way to the end, and I'll see you when you're there. Okay, and this here is the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and flip your work. We're gonna work one single crochet into the very first stitch. And now we're gonna start our row repeat. So for this row, you wanna do one single crochet into the next stitch, and then something that's called a spike single crochet. So for a spike single crochet, you're basically gonna go into where you worked this, this single crochet of the previous row. So I'm gonna show you here. This would be the top of the stitch. You're not gonna go into there. You're gonna go into where you worked the stitch. In this case, it was the foundation chain. So we're gonna go into that spot with our hook to where the stitch was worked. Grab the yarn and pull it through. And you wanna pull it up loose because you need it to be as tall as the current row. So you wanna do that. And now you wanna yarn over and pull through both loops to work that single crochet. So as you can see, it kind of goes in front of the stitch of the previous row. So let's do that again. We're gonna go back to the beginning of the row repeat. We do one single crochet into the next stitch and into the next, a spike single crochet. So we're gonna go and find where that stitch was worked, which is here, the foundation chain. Grab the yarn and pull it up. Tall so that it matches the height that you need for the current row and finish the single crochet like normal. So you're gonna have single crochets that are placed in front of the, of the stitch of the previous row. And that's the row repeat you wanna follow. So you wanna do one single crochet into the next stitch and a spike single crochet into the next. Do that and I'll see you at the end of the row. So at the end of the row, I just wanna show you that you're gonna be left with the turning chain. So into that one, you're gonna do your final single crochet. I just did a spike single crochet, and so to finish off this row, you want one single crochet into the last chain, or sorry, into the top of the turning chain. It's a little bit tight for me there, but there we have it. That there ends row two. Moving forward, you just wanna repeat row two back and forth until you have the desired length of your work or a finished swatch. But I'm gonna do it with you for row three so we can see it now when we work it into a stitch and not the foundation chain. So let's do one together. We chain one and flip our work. Do one single crochet into the first stitch. And now begin the row repeat. We do one single crochet and then a spike single crochet. So we essentially go into where the, pre the previous stitch was worked. You can see here it's the single crochet and it was worked here. You can see kind of where it begins. So you wanna insert your hook there, grab the yarn and pull up and do the spike single crochet. Into the next one, single crochet, and that one was a spike single crochet before. Into the next one, a spike single crochet where the single crochet was worked. So they're basically alternating, and that's where the name comes from. So you're alternating spike stitch. Um, and yeah, you'll have a different kind of pattern added to the fabric, so just repeat row two back and forth, and I'll see you when you have a swatch. This is actually so cool. It has a different texture to the fabric, but it's so simple. It's still really structured because it's single crochets. But yeah, it just makes the fabric look very different with literally one stitch. Um, the spike stitch reminds me of the shallow single crochet, and I've got a tutorial on that in case you're curious. Picture spike stitches all in one fabric, so it's really cool. It makes the fabric look like it's knitted almost. Um, so I've got a tutorial, maybe I'll, I'll leave it linked um, in the description of this video in case you're curious. But yeah, this is very cool. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it, just do it.